Okay, today we're going to learn how to graph a parabola using only the vertex and the x and y intercepts. When This is pretty convenient, okay? So I have here listed x intercepts, oh, int or possible intercepts. There might not be two x intercepts. That's coming down the road. A y intercept, there will always be a y intercept for the parabolas we're working on, and then the vertex, okay? Let's do the easy part first. What is the y intercept? No problem. The y intercept is always zero something because it's where it hits the y axis. Well, if you put zero in for x, doesn't all this go bye bye? And what's left over? Seven. So there's my y intercept. The vertex, you remember, what is that? x equals negative b over 2a. Okay, negative, what's my b value? See, I'm putting parentheses in my head around the variables. The b value is what? Negative 8 and the a value is invisible one, Claude Rains, right? One, x equals eight over two, x equals four. So remember, this is the axis of symmetry. Just for kicks, let's put it one, two, three, four. I know, we'll just do this real quick, but we know that that's the x value of my vertex. So now I take four and I put it into the original function here. So. I put a four there and a four there, okay? All I did is I took four and I substitute, substituted in for x. So four squared is 16 minus 32, eight times four, plus seven, negative nine real quick. See, I did that fast, 23 minus 32, negative nine. So my vertex is four, negative nine. So, oh boy, I, I messed this up. I gotta come down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine okay sometimes you got to adapt and overcome okay but now we got to find the x-intercept so i'm going to need some room so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to erase this to get it out of my way here is how you find the x-intercepts you take x squared minus x plus seven and set equal to zero because think about it when it hits the x-axis the y value is zero it's not moving up or down anywhere so to do that you factor, and this is why factoring is so important. X, X, what are my signs? What times what gives you a plus? Plus, plus, minus, minus. Since that's a minus, I'm going with minus, minus. Seven only has two factors. Let's make sure because sometimes it's not going to factor, actually. Negative one X, take away seven, we hit the home run. So using that zero product property, you pick each factor up, add one to both sides, x equals 1, add 7 to both sides, x equals 7. So my intercepts are 1, 0, and 7, 0. 1, 0, and so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 0. Now, let's find the, the y-intercept was this, 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it's got to be symmetrical. So check this out. If you go one, two, three, four, you go one, two, three, four, and you're going to get to eight. And now you can play connected dots. Remember, there's a little curve there and arrows. And that is how you graph a parabola using the vertex and x and y intercepts.